Welcome. You have come far, but your journey lies beyond. Nani has just opened my eyes to a completely different world. The first film was all about discovering new magical characters and creatures. That whole world is magical. And Voyage of the Dawn Treader will bring back that magic. The Voyage of the Dawn Treader was always the most awe-inspiring and magical book. The look at this movie is absolutely extraordinary, and this is sheer imagination. It's a return to the magical qualities of the first film. There's something which is kind of overtaking the land of Narnia. There's another evil which they have to defeat. You've got an extraordinary destiny, something greater than you could have imagined. The Narnia books were just so appealing to everybody of all ages. What was interesting about them as a filmmaker as well as a reader is how different they all are. Action! Michael Abtet was just a master of performance. It's a way of approaching it, to be interested in character, to be interested in trying to make it as realistic as I possibly can because this is a very wide-ranging story where we visit all sorts of places and visit all sorts of characters and all sorts of environments. It is the biggest film I've ever done. It means that I have more scope to move in. Man the longboats! Fill the sail and prepare to drop anchor! This is more of a return to the adventure and color of the first film. It's now at sea going and visiting these different islands. It's almost a sort of like fantastical land. For Nadia! It's about a journey through childhood into adulthood. It really is a voyage that everyone undergoes. They leave Narnia knowing they've got what Narnia has to give them, and then they move on into the rest of their lives. Narnia is completely your imagination, and in the end, you end up creating it.